here we are at Transform Period. St. Francis of Assisi Parish is all gathered and we've been washing vegetables and chopping stuff up and we're gonna serve the community. So as we span over here, we have some nice diced um, tomatoes that someone has chopped up beautifully. And we have Catherine and Yolanda and Hello. Veronica right here. Hi. And they are wonderful parishioners from St. Francis of Assisi. We're so blessed that they came. And your name, sir? It's Ron. Ron. Ron is um, Don's partner. Don's partner. It's the Ron and Don kind of day. And so today we're serving um, we're serving soft taco burritos that have uh, beef taco, and then we have uh, turkey meat that Sister Julie has cooked up and spiced up and made all happy. And so we have that. And then for our vegan friends, we have black beans and we have wonderful vegetables and cheese and so forth. We have beverages of iced tea and fruit punch and some Gatorade. So, and Carol Hughes, who isn't here right now, but she's working behind the scenes, she made us some brownies, homemade scratch brownies. Oh my gosh, and I've left them alone until now. Anyway, we start serving at three o'clock and we'll probably continue to um, film at that time, but for right now, everything's in the oven cooking and getting really yummy. So stay tuned. Thank you. Look who I found in the hallway right next to the office. Oh. Our very own sister Julie Cod. What a blessing is it that she's helping today. She cooked turkey at home last night or whenever she cooked it. Yes. She just and Terry, tell me about it. Terry brought it in. Yes. And so he knows it's gonna be his fault if it doesn't work. <laughs> exactly. So and tell me what you put in your turkey. Well, I thought it was going to be just a little package, right. two little packages, and it was a huge roll. Yeah. So I had to go and buy some onions, yeah. chop those up yeah. yesterday, and then I added um, the ground turkey today and put in some spices, oh. some fresh parsley and some thyme oh. and salt. That sounds so wonderful. I hope they she just gave you the recipe. It oh. was family. <laughs> and I've been here, I've been coming, going to come here, for about four or five years, oh. but the other one got torn yeah. down. So today I've been here about about an hour, and I am very impressed. I'm really full. Oh, my phone is ringing, but that's okay. I'm ignore it. Okay. Um, so we're really thankful to have Sister here with us, and we're going to be fixing to serve here in about a half hour. I can hardly wait. And I know it's going to be great. Everything's in the oven right now. Stay tuned. <laughs> Two or three. Well, this is church. That's right. This is church. You're right. This is the best part of church. It's loving our people with the love of God. Amen. Some of you, are, this is your first time here. We're glad you're all here. Thank you, St. Francis. It smells great. Yes, it does. It looks totally wonderful. Good to have you all here and all of our other volunteers for everything that you're doing. It all adds to touching lives today. Don't let anything seem insignificant to you at all. There's some people in the rooms praying just over the time. There's some of you that are working in a clothing bank, food bank, some of you may be cleaning. Whatever you're doing, a cup of cold water and you're serving them their drinks today. If you do it in the love of God, the Bible promises us in some way you're going to be planting seed in their hearts. God makes it grow. So let the love of God flow through you today. That's all that matters. There's been a lot of busy, There's I say all the time, there's a lot of moving parts. And it's true, we got a lot of activity going on, but now it's time to just take a breath. The activity is done. We're just going to love on people. Amen. So that's the main thing. Let the Holy Spirit use you today to touch lives. I was speaking at a, one, of their, one of our partner churches this morning. I was reminding them the battle is with light and darkness. It's not the people. We don't struggle with flesh and blood. People are not our enemies. There's a darkness that wants to destroy lives. We're here to counter that with the love of God, the light of Christ. So let the light of Christ shine through you today. That's where his lives are going to be transformed. It's not the food, it's not the clothing, it's Christ. So let Christ be seen in you today. I got to say, with a group this size, I was telling some of the ladies before, earlier today, one of the things I'm going to miss about being in this building personally is the acoustics of this room. I love singing in this hallway. So I just thought, if you guys are up for it, everybody know that song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness? Yeah. Good hymn for this time of year. You want to sing the first verse and chorus with me? Oh, yeah. Let's just worship the Lord while we're singing, okay? Yeah. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, faith Great is thy 
Good to see you. 